In Daniel 4.3, King Nebuchadnezzar of all people, he praised God. He announced this, how great are his signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an eternal kingdom. His dominion endures from generation to generation. One of the greatest joys we have here at Lamar is declaring to the next generation who God is and what he has done. Our mission is to pass down the gospel of Jesus Christ from generation to generation. And that's always been our mission, all the way back from the very beginning. In 1981, land was donated to Northside Baptist Church of Arlington. It was donated from a family who was part of First Baptist Church of Arlington. And that donation ignited a passion at Northside Baptist. It was a passion for opportunity for reaching the people of North Arlington. Under the leadership of Pastor James Weir, that passion, that desire to reach North Arlington, it grew. And so what happened? Well, the transformation happened. Northside Baptist Church became one church, two locations. And that transformation kept going. Only a few years later, the second Northside location would become its own church. Dr. Rick Leinberger would become the pastor and would lead the church to become Lamar Baptist Church. Lamar quickly grew, and so additional education space became necessary, and it was completed in 1988. And then Dr. Charlie Cruz became pastor, and Lamar continued to grow. One service became two, and then two services became three. And in 2001, construction was completed on a brand new sanctuary with a very notable blue roof, very recognizable blue roof. The history of Lamar shows that we have two main pillars. First of all, we stand upon the Word of God. Unashamedly, we stand upon the Word of God. And secondly, we desire to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. As I look back at the days of coming to Arlington and uh, coming to be a part of a church that I really didn't have to jumpstart the vision, it was already there to reach people and to make a difference for Jesus. And uh, I'm so grateful as I sit here even to think back uh, 35 years of Lamar having a heart, not only for the Lord, but for that city. Thank you for your faithfulness to God. I remember the first time I got to meet Pastor Lineberger, or Pastor Rick, he told me that it was the pioneering spirit of those first families at Northside Baptist, which compelled Northside to start a new church in North Arlington. That main goal 40 years ago, the goal of reaching people with the gospel is the same goal we have today. That heartbeat that the church had 40 years ago is the same heartbeat we have today. And it's with that same pioneering spirit that we venture into a new initiative called Generation to Generation. Over the last two to three years, our church has grown. That's been especially true in the kids' ministry. We've seen our numbers grow from the 30s to the 40s to the 50s, up to the 90s plus, and they keep coming. There's new kids every single Sunday. That's so exciting. But we've also seen an increase in new members. They haven't just joined to come sit. They have jumped in immediately into several ministry areas. So you're seeing new faces pop up in different ministries all around our church, and that's exciting too. We've seen an increase in the number of Zoe families who are taking part, and our Hispanic congregation has had great, awesome growth, and they all bring children, and we're so excited about that. We've also reached a point where our church-wide fellowships are too large for Lane Hall. Even when the English congregation comes, when we all try to get in there, for a meal of some sort, we don't fit, and there's absolutely no way that all three congregations can get together. So when you add all those factors together, that tells us one thing, we're running out of space. Our primary goal with Generation Generation is 100% engagement of our church. We want everyone in our church involved in first, making disciples in our homes and in the church. That's the Great Commission, right? Secondly, we want everyone at Lamar praying that God leads us in training the next generation. We do not simply provide childcare at Lamar. We teach kids the gospel. We teach kids the Bible. And then thirdly, we want all people at Lamar giving financially toward our Generation to Generation initiative. Our goal is for every single member of Lamar to give toward this project. It's going to take all of us giving sacrificially. Our secondary goal is to raise $10 million. That is a huge amount. It's a huge amount to us, but to our God and with our God, we know all things are possible. 
those funds would provide safe and secure ample space for our growing kids ministry. This space will include two larger worship areas for four and five year olds and our elementary age children in their children's church. It will also include classrooms that will allow us to continue teaching God's word to more and more children. It will also provide a space for those of all nations and generations to build relationships and connect with one another. Our entire church body would be able to gather again in one space for fellowships. As we're raising funds, there are a few smaller projects that we've included to help build momentum so that we're able to do something even while we're waiting on God to provide everything needed. This includes an elevator to the youth area for disabled students or just students with challenges. Uh, it will include church park upgrades, it includes renovated bathrooms for our education building, it includes replacing church buses, one or two of them keep breaking down, and it also includes a complete renovation for our student ministry area as well. We have 30,000 homes within three miles of our current facility. Now we know that God can do whatever God wants to do with or without our facility. But one thing we do know is that with this current project and the space that it would open up for us, we would be able to minister to many, many more children in a safe and secure location, and that's very important. But in addition to that, it would open up opportunities for us to begin new Bible study classes for all ages and all generations and even all of our nations so that we can continue to reach more and more people from the North Arlington area. It would also enable us to open up some fresh space for our student ministry, which is growing too. So that's very exciting. But then the final thing it would do would be open up space where we could all fellowship together and would give us room to do new things, new outreach opportunities that bring in even more people to hear the good news of Jesus. God has been so good to us at Lamar. He has been so, so good and our members have been faithful. So right now, we are strong financially. We have a healthy budget. We have healthy reserves. We have a track record of growth. We have a healthy foundation with our staff who love Jesus more than anything and love serving and working and are doing a great job. We have a strong foundation with our ministries. We have Bible study leaders that are so good and our church family loves their Bible study leaders. We have great worship. We have a meaningful membership and great pastoral care. And those things have come from four decades of ministry here at Lamar. Four faithful decades of ministry and the future seems as limitless as is our God. So here's what we're asking from you. First, pray about a one-time gift. Pray about making perhaps the largest donation you've ever made to a church or nonprofit. Secondly, pray about what God would have you give monthly over the next two years, above and beyond our regular tithes and offerings. We want to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. People in our culture need to hear the truth of God's word in all ages, from children to students to adults to senior adults. We need the gospel to be clearly taught and proclaimed and passed down to the next generation. We want to be ready for God to do amazing things today and tomorrow and even 50 years from now. We want to continue seeing the gospel of Jesus Christ passed down from generation to generation. So join us in this initiative. Jump in, do not stand back. Pray with us, serve with us, make disciples with us and give so that we have more and more space in which to do these things.